I think secretly we both want to be in glam bands. Yeah. Or not so secretly. Not so secretly. As of now. Yeah, so back alley Sally, it's gonna rule. I I just new demo coming out soon. (laughs) Absolutely. I started out just playing in, you know, nothing that got anywhere really, but I was like early teenager and uh, played in a bunch of punk bands and stuff like that. And um, I was in a band called Grave Mistake and that was just... Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's much better than Black Dawn. Kind of almost like a metal punk crossover even back then, you know, but it was like a little bit less... Uh, the sound that we're, we have now is, I think it was a little bit more like misfits and like... Gotcha. Black Flag a little bit and stuff, but... And then yeah. eventually you just decided to be like, fuck being in a band, I'm just going to do everything. Pretty much. It it was kind of weird. It was just like a situation where, <clears throat> like, the people I was playing with just kind of were flaky. And it was just like, where I was living, there wasn't a hotbed of musicians. So it was kind of just, right. just either do it myself or don't have a gun. <laughs> So, did you actually like play drums on the first record then? The first two, yeah. The first two, okay. Not well, but. Do you still play drums or what do you. No, even then I didn't really play drums. You know what I mean? It was kind of just like to do it, you know, and I didn't want to do a drum machine, you know? Yeah, no, that kind of, sucks. Yeah, I actually wanted to actually have real drums and I figured what I would lack in playing and stuff, we would kind of make up for with like the feel of, right. you know, being more of like classic kind of sound. Cause all the records I was listening to had like the worst drummers in history. Like, right. All like that Bra- and Witch Hunter. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and all that like Brazilian shit, like the, you know, the Bathory stuff, like all that stuff is like pretty bad drumming, but makes it yeah. awesome too. It's Absolutely. Like- <laughs> Death record. I was like, dude, I just listened to that for like a week straight. I was like, every song is catchy. Like every riff's good. There's actual songs with choruses and verses. Awesome. And yeah, it was like super fun because I liked the first record. The second one was okay, but that one was like, damn. I was like, the jam. Well, thanks, man. That's so. Cool. I remember I played it actually for Cole, and I was like, yeah, this is what Decapitator like should have turned into, but we suck, and this <laughs> band's like much better than us. <laughs> I think that's the hardest thing about nowadays. Like, everything has been done. You're like, I have this great idea. It's like f- world music, f- <laughs> funk grind with... Polka. G- right. Polka <laughs> porno slam. Right. Yeah. Meets, <laughs> <laughs> meets rap. Right. And it, that's, that's the only way that you can sort of, like, innovate or whatever is it just becomes like a novelty. So it's easier to just kind of not try to be original. Just, just be honest. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like, like actually play the stuff that you want to play and if people 
say it's a ripoff or say it's you know not the most original thing it's like at least that's it's, cool at least it's what you like you know yeah actually when i heard like oh you guys are supposed to in interview each other i was thinking about how we we're talking the other day about like originality or whatever and it's i do think it's a fucking illusion man like it's all about the context right? everybody in the fucking circle pit death breaks death People always think that we're like these like intense dudes or whatever. Like, oh, you guys are so brutal. It's yeah, like, we're not brutal at all. We're listening man. to fucking like <laughs> craziest shit in the van you can imagine. Racer X, <laughs> heavenly <Sotera>. metal. <laughs> I'll be happy. To, I'm big on Peter Cetera, dude. When I get super wasted, I'll just like blare it and like yell. It goes down good. Scream it absolutely. That's man. what people don't understand either. Like, they don't realize that being on tour, like you're hearing metal like in loud music all the time. So when you're get time alone in the van to actually just hang out and stuff like you just want to listen to like lots of other anything that's not yeah really brutal heavy metal yeah like the best is when people like invite us to parties after shows and they're like yeah dude here's the new fucking dead grandmother's fetus <laughs> demo i was like man fuck. hopefully that's a real band <laughs> i hope so too <laughs> if not we're starting after this tour and and then they're i like, can't wait to get that split with the meat chips that's coming out soon <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> They always ask us, like, oh, well, what do you guys want to hear then? I'm like, can you get, just play, like, Blue Oyster Cold or, like, yeah. Thin Lizzy or something? And then they get kind of, like, sad. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of sucks, but, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, fuck it. Just listen to Easy Access. And... <laughs> exactly. Blair Easy Access for the chicks, obviously. Death, 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 death. 